Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live with another quick tips tutorial brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in with today's poster. Wanted to know how to get rid of this uh, toy up here that's looking like it's growing out of the kid's uh, shoulder here. So um, several people are suggesting to use the clone tool. So if I use the clone tool, the problem is, is where are you going to grab to get rid of that? If you grab it from, let's say, here, then you're going to see exactly what is below that, which is the toy over there. So I'm going to undo that. Let me try grabbing from over here like this and try to make it work. And that's kind of okay, but then you start grabbing what's over on the one side or the other. I don't think the clone tool is exactly the way to go in this particular situation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a mask of this portion right here, and then I'm going to take a portion from here and just cover all this. And that's really simple to do. So let's first unlock the photo here and use the polygon tool. And I'm going to grab what I don't want to be changed so that when I create a new piece, it's going to go behind this. And the portion of his shoulder retains the exact same shape that it's always had. So what you do is you just grab like this, just within his shoulder. It's okay if you let a little bit go. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to come up here, even just go up here to his ear a little bit. And I'm going to right click here and I'm going to hit copy. Now what that did is it made a mask of this portion. So anything I put over this will be covered by that mask. I'm going to go back to the original layer. I'm going to scoot on over here and borrow a portion of this section here. So now I'm going to take the rectangle uh, marquee and grab from right here to here, something like this, and I'll just hit copy. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, take that portion, watch what happens. See, it's going underneath the other portion, so it'll be hidden. See that? The portion I don't want to see. And I could just simply go like this. I can squeeze this up so that the, the uh, sections match. And then just take the end here and stretch it out a little bit, like so. It was kind of at a little angle, so I can turn it a little bit like that. And that's looking pretty good. Look at the before and after, before and after. Now all I have to do is take the smudge brush and get rid of the portions that I don't want, which is there. And see, I'm smudging it back into below the portion that I had made into a mask. And I can actually just erase this, these here, with a 15-point hard-edged eraser. Just erase these guys. See that? Scoot over, and it's looking pretty good. Erase this portion so it matches right on the edge there. And with this down here, let's just take the smudge brush. And let's get a really big brush, like 25 point. And watch this. I just smudge that right back into the edge beyond the photo. Kind of soften it up a little bit. And finally, all you got to do, here's the before and after, is grab an eraser, but a big soft point, like a 65 point. And erase the edge of this so it all melts in. And there we go. Here's the extra piece that we added right there. Then our, we had a mask to cover the portions that we don't want, and we bring the original photo back, and there we go. We just fixed the photo, got rid of the toy, and it's looking a lot better. This is it for this tutorial. This is Rich calling it quits, saying over and out.